Happy Friday, everybody. Adam Wurzel, the audience guy here for another Friday Grill here on Early Backstage. Now, I am so excited. I have two very special guests here on the Friday Grill. No anchor today from Guiding Light, a legendary soap opera, Tina Sloan. How are you, Tina? I'm just miserable. Miserable? <laughs> wait, now wait a second. You asked, it's wait. our last show. How are you, Tina? Hey, Ron How Rain. How are you, Tina? <laughs> Unemployed. Unemployed. <laughs> you guys gonna start a stand-up comedy routine yes, now? This yes. is gonna be interesting. It's not bad. First question in the Friday Grill. In 10 years from now, 10 years from now, you guys are gonna think of Guiding Light in your head. What's the first thing you're gonna think of? Joy. <laughs> Family. Gratitude. Yes. Love, appreciation. Yeah. Friendship. Awesome. Wonderful friendships. I need to know the biggest guiding light bloopers. I walked into a closet once in the very funny scene with Peter Simon, and we'd had this really big fight scene, and I re walked out thinking I was walking out the door, and I went into the closet, and I stayed there because I'd done such a good job. I didn't want to come out and have to do it again. Was that a, t was that a good take? Was yeah, it? I don't remember if they used it. I think he broke up laughing. Oh my gosh. Ron, anything? Or were you just perfect? I've been perfect pretty uh, much my perfect. entire run. Yes. Uh, you guys shot at Universal Studios. Yeah. What's it like to shoot a soap opera in the middle of a theme park? Yeah. Wild. <laughs> Wild. I don't think you guys are like your characters that you play on the air. Do you ever have a moment where you say, wow, that's something that Lillian Rains would do. That's something that Alan Spaulding, that's an Alan Spaulding moment. I think I'm pretty close to Lillian. Yeah? So I think my life is, I mean, she's a really good, wonderful, perfect woman. I'm just like her. He's very different. Alan and Ron are very different, and I, I think that I, I've always been asked, uh, well, how are we alike? And I guess it has to do with love of family and also music. On the show, you're, you're very protective of your family. Is that how you are in real life? Yeah, of course. Oh, yes. right. But well, I, I, I like to think I'm a little more functional as opposed to Alan's He doesn't distance. kill his family Right, no, no real soap life. opera. Right. Charlotte lives. Last question, and I think this is one of the most important questions. What do you guys have to say to the fans that have been so devoted? Love right. them. Just love them. And uh, Tina and I were both uh, talking about your outpouring of love and, and how this show and our characters have affected your life has, has really moved me uh, beyond anything I ever dreamed. And, and thank you so much for all these years. And I know this represents generations and stirs up memories in your lives of, of your mothers and fathers and grandparents and how it started with you. And I, I know this is very tough times for you. And uh, um, we just thank you so much for everything you've done. And we really, we do know how much your, your families have meant. Go!